Hey guys, how's it going today? I am here. I am playing. I'm playing Dragon Quest Builders. I have an unhealthy obsession with this game, which is good, but also bad because, ooh, those are some nice rooftops. This is what happens when a person tries to stick with realism as opposed to my doofy triple decker nonsense lands. Look at how simple that village is. They also seem to have used way more fences and also maybe more space. Not that that matters to me at all. Oh, they also seem to have ringed in their base with brambles. That'd work. Anyway, let's uh, let's do some things. Let's let's go beat this chapter maybe, or find out that there's a bunch of other stuff to do too. Anyway, actually, just sleep again and have time. Yes, welcome, 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 welcome to Dragon Quest Builders. Right, that's how I jump. I know how to play this game. Oh, that is really convenient. Oh. If I hold in the X button, it actually lets me switch between builder tools. That's actually really nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we're we're just gonna finish this story plot up story element off, and then we'll go take a look at the other uh the other aspects. I don't know. Uh, I should probably Oh. I picked up some cabbage seeds. I don't know when I picked up some cabbage seeds. Maybe something got wrecked. I don't remember. Anyway, I've been playing this game way too much. Uh, and it's actually starting to impact my my YouTube channel production. Because usually I have to have like a backlog for things and it's running out. Except for this game, which is like already a month strong, I think. I'm fine with that. We're going to play more. <laughs> and then maybe, I don't know, I'll play some Eagle Island or uh, Warframe. Because I should probably play those two. I should probably also read the sign. Nope, never mind. May the deity bring hope to the land, a hope that lies on the far horizon. Dude hears a strange voice inside his head. Dude. Dude, my child, come to me. Leapest thou from the cliff and unfold thy windbreaker with a single tap of X. This must be the headland Wrigley was talking about. So how about it, dude? Shall we try using the windbreaker to fly over there? We already did. Bakaruni. We just landed in the ocean and got wrecked by the things within. Now, it looks like there is a secondary island over there. With more swamp muck than anything else. Oh. Ladders? This is where you would land if you fell in. Okay, this looks kind of important. It's written in olden. It's an olden faded note. It looks like it was written a very long time ago. Read the message. Yes. I came to this island to watch over it as its pastor, but to properly guide my flock would require me to know everything about the land which they live. I traveled to every corner of the island, gathering all the writing sacred and learning all there was to learn of its storied history. No discussion of the island can be complete without mention of the deity, the hollowed tree that once blessed the island with bounteous plenty. It seemed this tree was not grown, but built. Built by none other than the accursed builder who has escaped our clutches for so long. We of the children of Hargon cannot suffer one who poisons men's minds with the power of creation. This builder is a being of pure evil. And yet, I'm given pause for thought. Even in its much reduced state, the tree is still towering a towering presence that positively thrums with energy. And they say the Builder created it from nothing. I must admit, this figure intrigues me. The note ends here. So this is Pastorel's secret little something or other. There's a moldy old book entitled A New Dawn. Dude takes a closer look. It seems to be a long, handwritten memoir. Do you like to read it? Yes. How many months, how many years has it been since I stumbled upon this new land? The inhabitants of the island call it Furrowfield and spend their days foraging for food in the forests and on the shore. An acorn wrapped in kelp is judged a delicacy. And yet, the soil is so rich and fertile, I cannot stand idly by and see this island's true potential remain untapped. And so I built the deity and opened the people's eyes to the wonder of, wonders of creation. I will never forget the joy they evidently felt when they harvested their first cabbages. Their faces lit up like never before. I pray that the love of building will continue to thrive and flourish here, but, can I, 
I cannot stay. I must leave them under the protection of the Holy Tree and continue my journey. The memoir ends there. My cabbages! Okay, so I don't see anything else around here, and... Yeah, I guess let's just go up this way. This game is awesome. It's all good. Yeah. I don't know. I... There needs to be more games like this. Light sandbox, story, RPG, so on and so forth. I know there's a couple that I've had my eyes on. Uh, specifically, I'd like to try Portal Knights at some point. Either with friends or just with Shell or something like that. I don't know. Humans? What are you doing skulking around here? Looking for the original deity, are you? Well, you're too late. It was destroyed by the brainy baboon himself in all his infinite wisdom. And that's not all. The primate turned your silly symbol of hope into the source of your suffering. Who makes the spoils pours, you ask? The diseased, decrepit deity does. No way. So this is where the ill wind comes from. <laughs> this is holy ground, humans. A place for the children of Hagan to offer their thanks to the high priest. And now that you've seen our secret, I'm afraid we can't let you leave alive. That's a big baboon. I guess I'm gonna clean the, uh... Oh, that was easy. This sword is stupid good. I'm gonna clean up the ranged attackers. They're kind of inconvenient. Did it just slap its ass at me? Well, it's dead. <laughs> Aha! Children of Hargon? More like chumps of Hargon. Still, I can't believe they turned the Deatry into some kind of spore-spreading filth fountain. Are there any depths they won't stoop to? Huh? What's that creepy-looking light? Just I must gather... ...all of these things. I really like the decorative elements in this. They definitely outdid themselves making stuff look cool. Anything interesting in there? I'm in like exploration mode for reasons. Anyway. Who art thou? Why dost thou approach me? I was once known as the Deatry. But lack, my branches hath rotted away, and my heart filled with poison. How the breeze that floweth from me bringeth naught but destruction. I know not who thou art. But thou cannot remain in this place. The danger is too great. Thou and thy friends seek to create a new deity to rid this land of its corruption. Very well, should this be thy wish, thou first must destroy. Uh, thou first must needs destroy me. The black, rotten wood thou seest above. The was once my mighty trunk. Amid this withered husk, some small scraps of my holy heartwood still remain. I bid thee take it and bring it to me. I wonder if I can, like, wreck those. I mean, it'll give me free seeds, so there's kind of no reason why not to. Like, we might as- we might as well grab what we can. Wherever we are. There we go. Yeah, seeds. Not that we need any of them in retrospect. Like, this is totally one of those where we're at the end of the chapter, and we really do not need any more seeds for any reason. Okay, so let's let's just go up this. Let's let's actually focus on the task at hand as opposed to not. Did you really explain where the holy heartwood is? I'm assuming he's talking about this stuff. Oh yeah. Yep, gather the heartwood. Yep. 
But there's stone in here. Somebody want to explain to this tree that that's you don't put stones inside inside you. I know why the tree is sick. Some loon decided to put rocks in here. And maybe it's not that big a deal, but still. I'm gonna snag some of it. This doesn't kill you, I don't know what will. Okay, that's probably good enough. So, Thou hast done well. Thou hast destroyed me. Within the holy heartwood thou hast gathered burneth what little remaineth of my life force. Only now may I finally die. The fair isle of Furrowfield is set on a course for destruction. The ill wind that flowed from my corrupted form hath spread far and wide. I fear that my destruction alone cannot bring an end to the evils that plague this land. But through my strength, through the power that still dwelleth within my heartwood, a new deity may be born. Hast thou the skill to accomplish this feat, young builder? Canst thou conceive of the form I once took, and the form I must needs take once more? There is something else thou wouldst do well to recall, young builder. Creation is born of destruction, but more not, for nothing can be built from nothing. I await the day when thou wilt build build a new deity and return life and light to this fair isle. Thou hast my deepest thanks for destroying me. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> You've done it already, haven't you, dude? You've designed a new deity. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head back to the farm and get that bad boy built. Wow, that was fast. Wouldn't you want to, like, take out the bad boon first? So we have a Deatry level one blueprint. What? Oh, boy. This is going to be a task. Uh, apparently. Uh. Blumenek! Is that what I think it is? Are you building us a new deity? Dude, do you really think. Uh, do you really intend to build a new deity from scratch? Do you have any idea of the scale of the task you plan to undertake? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, my boy. Simply brilliant. You plan to b build a tree from a blueprint. The very thought of it. I've never heard a more ridiculous idea in all my life. And yet this fool foolishness, nay, foolhardiness, has reignited the fire of passion within my heart. Everyone, let's give this new uh, this one more try. Let's build a new Dia tree and make Furrowfield Farm flourish again. <laughs> Rosie's right, we rebuilt the farm once and it all went up in smoke, but the dream ain't over yet. Yeah, with Jude here, I bet the whole thing will be a piece of cake. We'll have a new Dia tree in like no time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I'll make you proud. Pastor Al, just you watch. <laughs> Aha! Alright, everyone. Let's build Furrowfield a new deity. Hurrah! <laughs> oh, R! Just look at that girt big blueprint. This new deity is going to be a real beauty. That seals it. My days as a traveling wiggly are over. I'll be staying here to help out this deity building business through to the end. Uh. <laughs> this is not the first time this has happened. And we have to wait here effectively until it, like, just gives up and warps him away. 
<laughs> like, you know, we eventually notice him running full tilt into our back, back shell. That's if it has an end. Forgive me, dude, but I cannot help but think that this blueprint isn't quite finished. Wait, I think I understand. This isn't the whole Dia tree. It's just the bottom bit. You've split it up into three sections, right? What an excellent idea. Three small projects will be much easier to handle than one huge one. <laughs> and there he goes again. You know, dude, I learned a lot from Pastor Al, but there's one thing he never taught me. He said there was a way to bestow the Dia tree with even more power, but he never got around to telling me what it was. I'll have to go over all my notes from the time under his tutelage. If I find anything out, I'll let you know right away. Thanks again for drawing up the blueprint, my boy. It's got us all enthusiastic about building again. In fact, we're all so fired up about making a new Dia tree that we want to help build it ourselves. I suspect that er that the urge to create that welled up within us each time you rang the great that great bell was all in aid of this. We're fated to help you build. The only problem is we're not really sure what to do. We've never actually built anything before, not properly anyway. That's why you must show us how it's done. Gather a few blocks of bar bark and begin building the blueprint, and we shall follow your lead. We'll need more than a few blocks to build this old tree. Tell you what, while well, you're teaching these two how to build, we'll go and collect all the materials we need. Come on, everyone, let's get collecting. Oh, that is so nice. I was worried that I'd have to go get it all myself. Seems our fellow villagers are as eager to begin building as I. They'll do their part, of course. That I, Of that, I have no doubt. But so too must we. Go, dude, gather enough bark to finish the lowest layer of the blueprint. Rosie and I will watch how you do it and teach the others. It looks like you need about 40 blocks of bark. You should be able to find all you need in the rainforest where the bodkin archers live. No doubt you will have to cut down a tree or two to claim their bark, but it is for the greater good. It is for the Dia tree. Gather the 40 blocks of bark you need and begin building the blueprint. We'll all join you as soon as we figured out how it's done. Don't I just have, like, a boatload of bark? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go plant these cabbage seeds. Oh, that's why. Is this all proper grass? I think it is. I converted pretty much all of the soil and or town. Okay, so we can put some of these away. Blackened bark. I don't think we want that. And sooty softwood. Got it. Okay, so how much bark do I have? I have enough. Well, that's convenient. So is it just bark on the entire lower section? I hope so. I like the music for this section. It's very, um... Let's see. It's almost very Fantasia-y. Like, I know... I know they like to go with the old MIDI music for... for Dragon Quest games, but I find myself enamored of their non-MIDI... Well, I guess it hasn't been MIDI for this entire game. But... Like, the calmer, more, like, softer music has actually been quite nice. Oh, places the first 40 blocks of the new Dia Tree. Incredible! Absolutely incredible, dude! Watching you place those blocks of, or those pieces of bark in the perfect position was an educational experience indeed. Why, well, I was positively, uh, epiphanic. Huh. I've seen you building things before, dude, but this is the first time I've thought I might be able to handle it myself. Why, with dude's highly detailed blueprint, blueprint, blueprint to work from, I'm sure we'll be able to make an excellent f fist out of it. Fist or first? I, I can't read, apparently. But dyslexia is a problem. Anyway. Dude, dude! Harry, what's all the shouting in aid of? Uh, uh, we gathered all the uh, materials we all need. <laughs> Uh, to b rebuild the Dia Tree! Ooh. Really put our uh, blood, sweat, and tears into this dude! Emphasis on blood! We'll put it all 
Oh, in here with this, in this air chest. <laughs> Mr. Dude, sir, I gathered all the extra blocks of bark and leaves we'll need to finish the blueprint. <laughs> oh. And I tried my hand at building. Uh, uh, I made some wooden steps. Uh. All in all, uh, we've prepared every single thing we'll need uh, to rebuild the deity. tree. Uh. And it, it's all uh, in this chest. Uh. I'm glad we finally uh, tried our hand at uh, gathering materials. I'm gonna go pass out. Now we, now we all know how our dudes at it all this time. Uh. Oh, that's a bad place to pass out. That is a very bad. <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> Do you not realize where you? Haha! <laughs> -ha, fine work, everyone. Now that we have both the skills and the means, the blueprint building can begin in earnest. Oh, okay. It was a temporary pass out. Aha, well done, my boy. After watching your masterful construction work, I think we finally feel ready to help build our new deity. All we need is a blueprint, and materials will be able to... And, uh, blueprint and materials, and we'll be able to lend a hand with any new structure that needs building. Of course, we cannot work without necessary materials, so if you require our assistance, be sure to lay some supplies in stock. Fortunately, it seems Perry and the others have gathered everything we need for the time being. We shall do the bulk of the building work, but it falls to you to place the crucial hardwood, my boy. Once you have done that, our first uh, first blueprint will be complete. I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all very excited about building a new deity. But if we could get the beastly, ghastly children of Hargon back for being so horrid to us, that would be all the better. We're all counting on you, dude, and you too, Malroth. Aha, it seems all the preparations are in order. Everyone, I have an announcement to make. While you were away gathering materials, I was carefully studying Dude while he worked. I've gained a deep insight into the secrets of blueprint building, and I shall share my wisdom with you all. Follow my example, and we shall soon see the deity standing tall. For Furrow Field. As long as you have a chest containing the necessary items, the residents will construct blueprints for you. Well, that's kind of nice. That's actually really nice. That would explain- that would actually give use for blueprints now. Because one of my- one of my major grumps in the previous game was that, yeah, blueprints were kind of pointless. Like, you'd- you'd use them for the initial thing, and then it's like, alright, whatever. But this way, I can fabricate the necessary raw stuff, and then just slap down bathhouses in the future, and then modify as necessary. That's gonna make the next chapter a lot easier. It'd be nice if I could modify the blueprints themselves for easy reproduction, but still. Like, this is actually really cool. The only disappointment is the fact that everything is super pink. This is fun. Also, thank you, Verisog, for the 500 bits. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna sit here appreciating. Maybe I'll drink some water, because I certainly didn't drink nearly enough yesterday. That's only the halfway point. Oh, wow. There's more to this, and they're just placing blocks down just in the middle of nowhere. Can I, like, put that down? I can kind of help. It's probably not a good idea for me to help because I actually don't know <laughs> what the design is for this. No, it's just smack dab in the middle there. Boop. I jumped the gun, but that's okay. 
Wait, can you not build yourself? They build structures for you? Uh, normally you can build for yourself, but for stuff like this, uh, they actually made it so the NPCs would build for you, probably because the blueprint for this thing would really suck to replicate. Because it's effectively paint... It's paint by numbers, but as a 3D object, and, like, the... The chance of, like, making a mistake is really freaking high. And, like, trying to go back and, and like, double-check your work would not be very fun. Because, like, imagine if you put a... one of these softwood blocks where a bark is, and then, like, kept going and you didn't notice that that was the wrong location. It wouldn't be very fun. So instead, telling them to make it instead... Saves me a lot of time and a lot of frustration. And that lets me put all my, like, building energies into simpler structures that... I conceive of on my own, if that makes any sense. I don't know. You've been playing uh, this and you love it. Yeah, it's it's a great game. I Freaking Dragon Quest Builders is by far one of the, oh my god, yeah. Speaking of, if I had to gather all the pieces for this, 800 bark. 200 leaves. Like, trying to build this whole thing myself would be a nightmare. Yeah, I, I like this game. It is very addicting and very enjoyable. And that's why I've been streaming it pretty much non-stop. And that's, that's okay. I wonder what that Pastor Al was going on about when he said there was a way to give the Deed Tree more power. I do remember him mentioning that when the Ancient Builder first built the Deed Tree, it was decorated with beautiful flowers in three different colors. When we planted all those crops before, it gave the old tree power. Maybe planting flowers could do the same thing for the new one. Oh, R! Three different colors for flowers, you say? Wonder if it's related to them chromatic Ks. Aside from the island you found in the old Deatry on, there's three other little islands off the coast. So there are. The chromatic Ks, they used to call them. Perhaps they were named after the colors of these flowers. Nothing else that's worth investigating. One of them islands is just the east of my old borough, where we first met. You should have, uh, you should be able to fly over the cliff overlooking the sea there. You'll probably want to warp to the Fat Rat Rise first. Might be even worth your while asking some of the Fat Rats there for help. Please, dude, you have to try. Head over to the first of the Chromatic Haze and see if there's anything that we can use to power up the Deatry. I do appreciate that the Deatry isn't just like a, a static object, but it is actually made out of blocks. It fits the style of this game so much better. And did that guy ever actually... No, he never did eat his forest food out here. I wonder if he won't do that until later. Okay. Well, there's actually... There's a couple of areas I haven't even been to yet. Here, so... I'm just gonna go look... Look around a little bit. Before we go anywhere. Because, yeah, I never actually explored this section of the, uh... This section of the map. Pretty sure I'm not going to find anything useful there. Yeah. I guess it would, one way or another it would just be more seeds if if it was useful. I don't think there's any major, like, areas that I've truly missed here. There's these things, though. I want to look just because. Love that the, old, uh, the zoomed out world map is the old Dragon Quest style. I... This is probably one of the best examples of, like, a modern retro fusion. Like, the Dragon Quest games in general. Uh, specifically, I mean, Dragon Quest XI has been doing that, uh, a lot lately. The, uh, the Switch version has... Uh, has, like, an actual, like, retro style that you can switch back and forth between seamlessly. Which, like, who does that? Like, no one. It's really cool. There is a chest up here. My exploration was valid. There also seems to be a, uh, a little spot that I should check out, too. Okay, the worm only eats what's in town. Ah, oh, that sucks. Because, yeah, growing a forest in town is kind of a pain in the butt. I guess it would probably be useful for uh, some other things. I don't know. Ooh. 
HP went up. Yeah, so we also have a cave over here. Oh, it's that thing over there. We... I wonder if I can... Okay, so I can arrest my fall by doing this. Oh. Hi. Yeah, I never did this. Good to come back and do so, though. Let's see, there's that cave below the chest. Uh, this cave, or was there another cave that I missed? Or like a cave on the opposite side. I don't know. One way or another, I haven't been to this area at all, so it's a good thing I checked it out. Big Drackey! I guess this is where I should have been getting all my, like, spare cabbage seeds from this entire time. You know what? I'm gonna go bananas on a couple of these trees while we're here. Wood is, like, one of our least common resort. Uh, okay, there's a different, different tree. Okay, I'll go check it out. But yeah, wood is one of our, like, least stocked materials just because I kind of actively avoid going out to gather more because I like the look of the trees in this game. Unfortunately, they do make it kind of hard to see what's going on, so... Anyway, let's let's go back over here. Let's beat this guy up. Hopefully we get an insta-kill hit on him. It doesn't seem like he should be resistant. But he is. Okay. Well, whatever. Wearing a turtle suit more or less is making this guy into chump land. This has been much harder back back previously. Please die, Orc Man. I wish to obtain your seed. I think he might have been a unique enemy. Okay. All the way back up. Well, oh, dang it. Meant to go up, but I guess it wasn't in the cards. All the way back up. Bye, Malroth. See you later. Okay, so supposedly there might be another cave out here somewhere. Oh, this is probably what you saw. Yeah, there's just random, like, not caves all over the place in these mountains. They're just there. They throw me off real hard, too. But yeah, there's, there's nothing in there. Okay. So I realize I'm just going back to where I've been before. But what I want to do... Is... That's the windmill over there. What I want to do is scout out... Let's see if there's any other sneaky bits or interesting things lurking in these mountains.
Unfortunately, no. Like, it looked like that was going to be something. But it was not. I was really hoping there would be, like, some interesting caves out here. There's a lot of... I'm gonna say there's a lot of, like, blank space. In the Dragon Quest games. And they've been a little bit better about it in this one. But there are definitely times where I'm just like, I wonder if there's anything over here. And almost always the answer is, nope. Also, that orc I killed is actually respawned. So he's a non-unique enemy that you can farm for uh, extra cabbage seeds. That's kind of cool. Okay. Is there an easy way back up here? Not overwhelmingly, but we don't need one. We... Uh... May the white flowers of the covenant bring peace to the land. Peace that lies on the far horizon. Okay, so I'm going to fly over here, and then... If there's a warp station, perfect. If there isn't, then I'll just uh, come back. Because it looks like I'm going to have to diplomatize these guys. Okay, well, view map. we got to go back to Furrow Field. I don't want anything blowing up in my in my town. Let's see, so how am I doing today? I'm... I've been honestly just quiet day. We more or less... Uh, we more or less woke up. Had a very pleasant... Had a very pleasant morning. Didn't do much of anything. There is always this, like, huge lineup. For the bathroom there. It's a bit disconcerting. Like, these people don't pa pace themselves. Uh, let's see. Oops. Didn't even realize I had that out. I kind of wish uh, pulling out some of the more specialty tools was actually like L1 or something. Okay, do we have any other spoil spores hanging out around here? Because there should be at least one more. There's usually three. Let me know if you spot any, because I am not. Uh, it was in the field? Wait, this field, or... Oh, the wheat field. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's probably it. We have too much, too much faith or happiness. I guess it's not faith, not for, forming a religion, just benefiting from it. Okay, uh, let's see. So in that case, I've got some seeds I should probably drop off. Let's see. Are they stowing tomatoes in there? I am actually unsure. That's okay. Uh, we got all the pumpkin, pumpkin seeds we need. Perfect. Let's see. I should probably also grab some food. They're just feeding themselves at this point. Hungry buggers.
It'd be nice if they stowed, like, a smidge of food for me. Every once in a while. I guess I could make it, uh, make it myself. I guess the other thing I could do is just grab the... Oh my... Wow. Yeah, never mind. They have been storing food for me. I just have to... I just have to raid their, their food supplies. Aha! I will never starve. Suck it, populace. You don't need food. I do. Let's see. Later on, the, uh, points of favor will come in handy. You mean for other... For other chapters, or for this... For this one? Okay. Where am I? Okay, so I, I want to go out this way. There we go. But yeah, so they've just been storing all the food in the uh, dining tables instead. That actually makes perfect sense. I was just... I, I was getting a little bit uh, grumpy because it's just like, they just eat all of the food they cook. None for me. And the answer is no. I just have to be a jerk about it, and then problem solves. We. Oh, so the favor points just carry over. Wait, really? So I can just. I. There must be some pretty hefty inflation then, in the uh, point costs. So, how do you still live here? Well met, human. You're a builder, aren't you? You certainly smell like one. This can only mean one thing. It's time for me to uphold our part of the covenant. A builder came here long ago, squeaky. He built a deity and imbued it with great power by means of three types of flowers. When the children of Hargon corrupted the tree, the elders of the fat rats, humans, and bogan archers gathered to discuss what could be done. We all agreed that the seeds of those flowers must be kept safe until such a time a builder returned to the island and rebuilt the deity. And so we... In entered into a covenant. The humans, fat rats, and bodkin archers to keep these seeds safe and pass them on to the next builder. One of the three sets of sacred seeds lies in the chest behind me. Take them, builder. They're yours now. We got a milk, uh, milk blossom seed. Are those the flower seeds we're looking for? Let's tell that big fat rat that we found them and head back to the village. Squeak! The children of Hargon came, destroyed the tea tree, and turned the soil into slime. So the leaders of the fat rats... Okay, spinach tomato. Yeah, so same deal. Did I pre-order this game? Hell yeah, I did. I know everybody says, don't pre-order stuff, but like, I will pre-order the occasional game that is real freaking good. This, chief among them. Uh, I guess let's go out this direction. Oh, fair, uh, favor points carry over to your home island, but start at zero for, the, for a chapter. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That seemed kind of busted. Convenient, but busted. Because then I could just, like, hang out and make, like, sweet things for my people for a while. Show up to the next island, I'm like... Hey, sup? Everyone on my previous island loves me, so you need to love me too. And everybody's like, why? What have you done to deserve this? Oh, damn it. I guess for me, pre-ordering his... Oh. So that's how they handle it on the rooftops. You know, that actually doesn't look half bad. Now, to, now that I'm looking at the, uh, the square top roofs. Yeah, well, didn't one of these have lava? Oh... I wonder if one of these is going to have uh, the bad boon on it or something. 
I could see that. That's a possibility. And this is what happens when you don't leave a ladder for yourself. But that's okay. Dude is absolutely starving. Grill greens. Jam them in your face. Whee! Like, pretty sure one of these islands had lava on it. Doesn't look like it's this one, though. Whoa. Oh, seriously, the music on these areas is on point. This feels more sporish than the other one. I'm like, sinister? The heck? Okay, so whatever this is, this is actually after we've dealt with all the other islands. Question is, can I build right out of this? Okay, so I'm just going to go right up. Okay, and then out like a smidge. Because, yeah, there's something here. But whatever this is... It's a for later situation. Well, considering I have, like, an obscene amount of this stuff, I can just do what I want. Now, is there anything on this island? Because supposedly there's, so there's, like, a weird mystery thing, but that's probably what I'm directly above. So I'm just going to go around the outside of this in hopes of there being a warp, warp shrine. But I'm not betting on it. Okay, so whatever this is, I came to the wrong island. Okay. So in that case... Probably some more out there? Or... Oh, I found some flower seeds. Oh, I see. We should probably go back here anyway. <laughs> 